Prakti Hawa Prakata Yehawasha Prakti Hawa Prakata Yehawasha Ba Hashem Rakakudash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders. Salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching in truth and sincerity. Lesson will be entitled Ferocious I Can't Wait by Source. FoxNebraska.com article entitled I Can't Wait. Raping Baby was part of Mississippi Man's Birthday Trip. Two Tennessee Affidavit says, published Tuesday, December 12th, 2023. A Mississippi man who thought he was making a birthday trip to rape a baby in a Tennessee hotel room is now behind bars, according to police documents. Chattanooga State Police arrested 49-year-old Dennis Allen Gall on Tuesday. And this is him. An affidavit obtained by WTBC noted Gall communicated with an undercover agent from the FBI on the Telegram app on November 17th. Gall identified himself as a contract chef for an offshore hiring company and said his age of attraction is 0 through 12 but can be older if look younger, the report noted. Gall said he felt the Telegram app was secure and that he was hesitant to join other groups for fear of being caught. The agent mentioned the possibility of sexual contact with a 10-month-old baby. Wouldn't hurt the baby but would love to play sexually. Would love to see if it happens. And would be a dream come true, Gall replied, according to the affidavit. The agent told Allen he was from Tennessee, to which he replied, looks like I may have to take a trip to Tennessee sometime soon. They exchanged phone numbers, and Gall soon started texting the number to set up an encounter. That allowed agents to look up his phone number, which revealed Gall's name and that he had previously been convicted of molesting a child he babysat in 2000. Gall stated that there were three boys he molested. Between the ages of two and four, the affidavit said, Gall stated that he molested the boys all while awake most of the time. The report noted Gall said it all started with his two-year-old nephew adding that he said he molested the boy for three years. On November 20th, Gall asked the agent what part of Tennessee they were in. Upon hearing Chattanooga, the report says Gall replied, that sounds awesome. I can't wait. This is looking to be the best trip I've ever taken. Sicko. Gall did book two rooms at the Hotel Chalet, formerly the Chattanooga Choo Choo, sending the agent a screen shot of the booking confirmation. The report said on, on December 5th, Allen sent the agent an image of five infant outfits along with an elephant rattle. Allen showed up at the hotel on Monday, which was his 49th birthday. Their agents arrested and booked him. Gall was charged with attempted child rape and two counts of attempted solicitation of a minor. These are some sick people, the Edomites. Habakkuk 2 and 4, behold his spirit, whose spirit? 
the Edomite spirit, okay? Man, woman, and child based on the lineage of their fathers, hence the Edomites. Behold, his spirit which is lifted up is not upright in him. Why? Let's go to Malachi. Chapter 1, verse 4. Whereas Edom said, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Hence, the Renaissance, which means rebirth. Rebirth of what? Their kingdom, their rulership, their dominion. Thus said Yahweh of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness. All right? And that's the reason why these people's spirits, okay, are wicked. Because they are classified to be the wicked. And that's another reason why the scripture states what? His spirit lifted up, meaning what? They are prideful, okay? Is not upright in him because they were created slash designed to be the wicked, all right? Prime example, Mr. Gall. And the people against whom Yahweh has indignation, meaning righteous anger forever. Let's go to, let me finish this up. But the just shall live by his faith. All right, the just referring to the elect of Israel. Genesis 25 and 27. And the boys grew, and Esau was a cunning hunter, a man of the field, and Jacob was a plain man dwelling in tents. All right, now Jacob is the progenitor of the Israelites in modern terms, so-called Negroes, so-called Hispanics, and so-called Native Americans, right? Esau is the progenitor of so-called white people. All right, and this is based on the lineage of their fathers, right? So, Mr. Gaul's forefather is Esau, okay? Now, when we investigate plain, According to the Hebrew, Strong's H8535, pronounced as thumb, right? Which means perfect, complete, right? Sound, wholesome, complete, morally innocent, having integrity. Okay, integrity means what? Innocence, okay? One who is morally and ethically pure, Okay, so we are programmed to be morally innocent, having integrity, okay, complete. And that's why, beginning with the elect of Israel, we have this zeal for Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shine. And we try to keep the laws, statutes, and the commandments to the best of our abilities. All right. Again, complete, morally innocent. And in the case of Mr. Gall's behavior, right, he is not morally innocent. He don't give a fuck, right? He, hell, he molested his nephew and was willing to molest a 10-month-old baby on his birthday. These people are savages. They are ferocious. Okay? According to the lexicon, right? Whole, upright, always in a moral sense. A peculiar use is Jacob was an upright man dwelling in tents 
where appears to indicate the milder and placid disposition of Jacob as opposed to the more ferocious character of, of Esau. The more ferocious character of Esau. There we go. And according to New Oxford American Dictionary, ferocious, fierce, cruel, or violent, savagely, right? Characterized by or involving aggression, bitterness, and determination. So Esau has a ferocious mindset, okay? And he can be classified as a savage, a bitter person, and most importantly, a man or a woman or a child that doesn't have morals, all right? And Mr. Gall's behavior all stems from his forefather, Esau. All right, a fucking savage, hence the wicked. Lord will your edify, shalom.